Maple syrup season is underway. Angela Kelly joins us live from Gordon Bubal's Nature Preserve with more. Hi, Angela. Hey guys, the Gordon Bubbles Nature Preserve is in Grand Chute and right now we're in one of their new sugar shacks and you can see here they've got some sap right out of the maple trees that's being boiled and uh, Josh Bray here, they call him a sap meister, you are stoking the fire. How is the season doing? The season's doing wonderful. What, in sap what is terms? Flowing. Sap is flowing well out of the trees. Um, and we think that's because the temperatures, um, as everybody knows, have been really cold uh, at night and then really nice and warm during the day, which gets those trees all excited and they start the sap flowing. How much uh, sap have you collected so far? Oh, we've got probably between 60 and 70 gallons of sap. Okay, so that's pretty good. We're, we're, we're on track. Yep, we're doing excellent. Tell us how this process works here, what you're doing with the sap here. Exactly. Yeah, what we do here is we'll pull it into our, uh, our flat pan, our cooking pan, and we need to boil the sap down. Sap is made pretty much of sugar and water, and we just got to get rid of the water. So the best way we know how to do that right now is boiling it off. Okay, and I know you use all sorts of different tools. Um, mm -hmm. This you would do quite often to what? Well, we'll use that just to kind of see how things are going. We'll watch the consistency of the sap. And as you can see now, it looks just like water, but as it gets thicker and thicker, it'll run out um, a little slower. Okay. And then this is one of my favorites right here. This is the skimmer. And so we'll skim off bubbles, and we call it the sap scum, um, which is full of all those good nutrients and minerals and sweet sugar. So does this have to have a lot to go through before it actually becomes maple syrup? Yeah, it has to go through quite a process. It'll take a long time. For a full pan like this, it would take at least a day to boil it down to the point where we could pour it out of the pan and into a finishing pot, mm -hmm. and then we would cook it to that perfect temperature and then filter it. There's three filters between now and, and then bottling it into a, a syrup container. Okay, and it takes how much? It takes a ton just to make a bottle it of syrup. It does. Uh, it takes about a full pan or about 40 gallons mm -hmm. of sap just to get one gallon of maple syrup. Wow. Well, yeah. why don't you take a look at your screen because here is an event that you can attend here at the Gordon Bubbles Nature Preserve that'll teach you all about this process. It's Maple Syrup Saturday. Can you tell us a little bit about it, Josh? Absolutely. It's coming up on March 26th, so you can come out. Um, you can come out early. I think it starts around 9 o'clock. You can get a breakfast, pancake and porky breakfast, uh, over at the Girl Scout building. And then we will give you uh, fresh maple syrup from Blue Bolts. And when you're done with breakfast, you can meander on over and we'll give you a tour of the sugar bush and this whole process beginning to end. Fantastic. And we're going to head out into one part of the sugar bush. You Coming bet. up in our next hour, we're going to learn how to tap trees. It's <laughs> going to be a fun morning. And it's really a beautiful morning, actually. Yeah, it really is. Very mild. Yeah. Perfect for maple syrup season. <laughs> Thanks, Edge. <laughs> It's 5.48. See ya. See ya. I didn't know she was that excited to do it. Well,